Y'all, Slime Green Beats in the building. Back again, I got the mouse cam out for this automation clip tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you guys check out the How to Make Beats book brought to you by Slime Green Beats. It's our newest book on mixing beats and whatnot. All right, so automation clips. I'm just gonna show you like the basics of automation clips. First, we're gonna drag in this sample here. Standalone drums, the walk, and the uh, STLN drums kit brought to you by hiphopdrumsamples.com. Dang, I forgot to put my headphones on. All right, it's one of the first time I've done this in a video. Okay. Good Lord. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, so we have this clip here. Um, let's go to the channel rack. Let's add it to channel one. So the first automation clip, the most basic one is, is the volume. So you can right click on the volume knob here. Right click, go to create automation clip. Now, um, if you see this, these, this icon here that kind of looks like an automation clip, click on this and make sure you unselect, deselect these. All right, now what we can do is right click. We can like, I mean, this kind of speaks for itself. Like this is like the volume up, this is the volume down. One thing you want to note is like, what is the default volume? You can find this by right clicking here, click copy value. It's usually like at 80%, usually the default is, is 80% for the volume. Right, so if you say you want this to return to the default volume here, you can right click, paste the value, 80%. So it goes from 80 down and then back up to 80. Now say you wanna add like a filter cutoff, like say you wanna add some type of a filter and you wanna cut it off at a certain point. So you want like an intro or something. So we can reset this just by pasting it like that. All right, say you want, we want some type of a filter. So let's like add an effect. We'll use Fruity Love Filter. Fruity Love Filter. So to automate, to automate this, right click on this knob right here and then click Create Automation Clip. So say we want like a fil Fruity Love Filter intro type of thing. We, this all the way up, you know, it's at 100%. You'll see like it corresponds with this knob here. Uh, say we wanna take it completely off there. We're gonna wanna bring the entire automation clip down there. So it's gonna have like some type of like fade in intro. Let's look at that again. You see like, and this is the mixing knob here. So this kind of like shows how much of an effect this this uh, mixing effect has, this mixing VST has. That's pretty much it. Um, say if you want to like fade out a track, I think this is also like probably one of the most important things. Again, make sure you have the, uh, the value 80%. Um, say we just want to fade out the last, uh, we'll say like, just this ending part right here, the last two bars. Just the last two bars. We'll go like this, paste, because we want to keep it at 80%. Now grab this and bring it down, and then the track is going to fade out. So this is important because it's important to end tracks correctly or, you know, effects. But I often, like, pay attention to how you end a beat. Um, that's a pretty useful way to do it, pretty classy way to do it. So that's automation clip basics. Let me know if you guys have any questions. This is Slime Green Beats. Thank you guys for watching. We talked about the how to make beats book, how to mix mi mix beats book, how to make beats is also available on slimegreenbeats.com. Link in the description. Thank you guys for watching as always, and peace out.